So that's kind of it for the summary of the stuff you need to learn, I think, just to get the get off the ground and tech it. Uh, but I wanted to show you one other thing, which is that if we build a chest, well, let's just make another crafting table, save a trip. If we build a chest, and in particular maybe two chests, All right, and we put those chests. Hmm, where would we want to put those? Let's put one here. And maybe, well, I guess, I guess for fun, we could just put them both here. All right, now let's go grab some glass. Oh, look, there's more resin. So as some of our viewers have pointed out, it is renewable. You don't have to kill the tree. I'm not sure if it's better just to snag the whole tree and bone meal it and make another one and or wait for the resin, but uh, I'll let you guys argue that point. All right, so now we're going to take cobblestone uh, and stone and glass. Or I should say stone, cobblestone, and glass. And we're going to make pipes. Um, there's some of those, and... We're also going to make wood pipes, very important, and stone as well. I don't know if I want to get into all the differences between the pipes, but this probably is a good place as any to start. Okay. All right, so if you think about this process, now this is probably not the most efficient layout, but just for purposes of showing you guys what's going on, let's make a little arrangement. And we're going to start with wooden pipes. Wooden pipes allow you to sort of suck out whatever it is that's in these chests. Okay? Um, and hold on. Let's do this. And that. And I'm also going to go back into my inventory. I'm not going to talk about uh, redstone pump. There we go. A redstone engine. And we're going to place that guy down here. We'll talk, talk about this more later if you guys want to go into how these are made. Uh, these do not overheat. Uh, they do not... Uh, you know, let's make some sticks. And some cobblestone some levers okay and the levers are going to give us what we need in terms of power control at least for this simple demonstration all right and we're gonna now take this starting point with the wooden pipe we're gonna take this cobblestone and we're gonna use it as a conduit to send our Make sure we have plenty of room here. Whoops. Not that much room. Uh. Okay, that should be plenty. Alright, we want to feed this directly into the macerator. Why? Because if we have a ton of ore... Let's say we have um, iron ore, and we're mining. We can drop that ore into a chest and have the pumps take it straight to the macerator and either output it to a chest or, as we'll see in a moment, to another device. Now, if we had a faster engine, we could probably get more output with these stone pipes versus the cobblestone and you'll see what happens when they break whoop they just pop right out we have uh, a few of these items implemented in our home slightly more compactly built uh, let's take a look so we have ore here coming out going into the macerator powered by the generator, and then back out through another pump into a chest. So let's replace that chest with an iron furnace. And 
so now the dust that's going into the furnace is being turned into ingots automatically uh, via the pumping process. And finally, the last thing we could do is continue the pumping process further, taking the ingots out of the furnace and into another chest. But I will leave that for you guys to play around with uh, on your own. And I think that kind of wraps it up for the summary for today. And finally, guys, I want to show you the, I guess you could say, the similar results that we have. We actually made a slightly more compact version of this in the house. Um, and so we're going to revert this map back to where we were when we left off at the end of the couple of episodes where we lost our footage. I'll show you real quickly in the nether portal here. We basically built this very quickly, jumped in, found some glowstone, jumped right back out. So uh, that was to get a philosopher's stone, which we'll probably cover in the next actual episode. I'm going to have uh, Ben give us the highlights on that. You can see here there's a platform where we dug out some glowstone and uh, basically hopped right back into the real world so we could get back on with the mission at hand of getting our basic uh, tech it stuff out of the way. So we built the portal that we just left. Um, we built a short... Um, pool, if you will. Right there is a uh, landing spot to make the trip down a little easier. And uh, obviously this uh, 15 second climb uh, uh, is equally annoying on the way down. But we don't have to worry about that anymore. And up here we have uh, basically what you guys saw before. Generator. Extractor. Macerator and an iron furnace. Now, ideally, I think what we're going to do is start mining down below the house and have it pump straight up to this macerator vertically. And uh, then we can process our ore. Yeah, there's the iron furnace. So we actually come in, come in this route, feeding with the ore. And if you could see, there's slightly different colored pipes there to make it a little bit easier to see. So the dark pipe is where the ore goes into the macerator, and the lighter colored pipe is where it comes back out into the furnace. Now, we don't have um, an output yet uh, beyond that, but we'll, we'll figure that out. We all, may also move this equipment um, and move it downstairs, maybe to free up more room in the house. Uh, Philosopher's Stone, we'll cover that later. Uh, I'm sorry, the transmutation table, uh, we'll cover that later. Uh, but for now, guys, signing off, and again, sorry we screwed up our footage on these last two episodes, but these things that we've built here are pretty much exact duplicates of what I have built down below. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.